Taxi! Welcome to Infinity City. Hey, gang! Welcome to Infinity City. I'm Zach. Hop in and we'll cruise the sights. Sounds good to me. Come on! Ooh. Here we go! Oh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Hey. oh I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now, all we need is a destination. That's your job. Pick one of those locales down there on our directory, and we'll get moving. Engine's running. Let's pick a place and hit the road. Cool. The construction site. Let's go see how things are shaping up. Come on, honey. I got one shot that says it all. Okay, we're on our way. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue in All Around the Clock Tower. The new clock tower looks super duper, Juanita. You and your crew have done a great job. Yeah, and just in time. The mayor's coming by soon for the ribbon cutting ceremony. I can't wait. <laughs> Yuck, rotten luck. <laughs> rotten wrench. You have no sense of civic pride. Hey, things look kind of out of shape around here. <laughs> Give my regards to the mayor. <laughs> oh, no. This must be repaired. But I've got to stay to greet the mayor when he comes. So I can't go get the supplies. Juanita, this is your lucky day. I can go get the supplies for you. Can you drive a five-ton truck? <laughs> sure. Piece of cake. Great. Okay. We need a round window, a square clock, and a rectangular door. Let me get this straight. We need a round window, a square clock, and a rectangular door. Got it. Take five, Juanita. I'll be back pronto. Let's see. Which window should I pick? This one's round, just like the whole rotten wrench left. Thanks so much. Okay, doors. What kind of door does Juanita need? Hey, a rectangular door. That will fit the whole rotten wrench left perfectly. Muchas gracias. Now I need a clock face. Gee, which one should I pick? Here's a square clock face. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Monkey Sue, boy, am I glad to see you. Mayor Spaulding can't hold these scissors up much longer. Uh-oh. I'm tilting at a 28-degree angle. Let's get going. Hey, Monkey Sue, would you help the mayor? I'd be honored. Beautiful. That circular window fits perfectly in the round frame. Nice and easy. Yep. Rectangular doors fit just right in rectangular door frames. Better hurry it up, Juanita. The weight of these scissors seems to be increasing exponentially. Just one last thing, Mayor. Hang on. The square clock face fits our square hole to a T. Now the clock tower is finished. See here, Juanita. Are you done yet? Yes, Your Honor. Citizens of Infinity City. We are gathered here today to dedicate our new clock tower, built by our very own Juanita Gonzalez. I hereby cut the honorary ribbon. Thanks for getting just the right shaped parts, Monkey Sue. You know, it wouldn't have been ready without you. You're more than welcome, Juanita. I'm always glad to help. The end.
Juanita sure got a good head on her shoulders. What'd you want to try next? Ever sing along with Zack? It's the best. Yeah. You like me, you like me. Let's go. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. Oh, there is no choosing this time because I only took one picture at the construction site. You see, one is kind of a special number because, well, everything is one of something. Now just click on this photo to see what it has to do with one. O N E. One. Now just click on this photo to see what it has to do with one. Now I see only one man in the picture that's wearing a yellow hat. Can you find him? You go ahead and click on that picture to start, sugar. Nada, darling. Oh, nothing there. Ooh, what evil eyes you've got. Nice job. Why not try counting that big piece of equipment, honey? Yep, you're right. There's only one backhoe. Do you see anything in this picture that's shaped like the number one? Yeah, that looks like a number one. Uh-huh. Oh, that's another one. Good work. Yeah, that, uh-huh. I think it's time to look at a different picture. Now just click on this photo to see what it has to do with one. <gasps> Done so soon? Well, let's go see what the gang's up to. That was one pretty picture, huh? Want to see what else is shaping up? Hey, sport, we've got some shadow matching to do. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh, uh, uh, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Guess who designs and builds things at this site? <laughs> we do! <laughs> Just
Just click on me, and you'll get some shapes, so you can start constructing right away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can build whatever you want with the shapes on your own. Or you can follow one of those blueprints in the cabinet underneath me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a circle. Hey, <laughs> if you click on it, I bet it will look different. Yep. See, every time you click on it, it will change. A square. Yep. Hey, <laughs> if you click on it, I bet it will look different. Yep. <laughs> A circle. You can use that saw to cut your shapes in half. Hey, you know, every time you click on that saw, it will rotate, so you can cut your shapes up differently. Yeah, go ahead and try. Uh huh. A rectangle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> you can glue stuff together with this. <laughs> then you can move it anywhere you want.
Pickles. <laughs> they crack me up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got... Look! <laughs> Half circles. <laughs> they crack me up. <laughs> A rectangle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, flowers like to grow in the grass, you know. Yeah. Oh, skinny rectangles. Look at that. A rectangle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Hey! <laughs> Thank you.
skinny rectangles. Look at that. You can use that saw to cut your shapes in half. Oh, look at that. Rectangles. Hey. <laughs> You know, we got glue, you know, yeah, uh -huh. that does uh, stick stuff together, yeah.
I am really starved. Can you feed me some of that stuff, please? Mm. Whoa! <laughs> Talk about deluxe dining. Ooh. Mm. Ah. Oh, well, that is just like Mom's cooking. Oh, so good. Mm. Uh. Oh, <coughs> pardon me, oh dear. Oh. Oh, now that is fine dining, yes. Mm. Ah. Oh, well, that is just like Mom's cooking. Oh, so good. Mm. Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, <laughs> that is fresh. Ah. Oh, boy, that is good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, Mike, oh, it's so juicy. Oh, mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, that is tasty. Oh, look at that rectangle. Hey. <laughs> oh. Skinny rectangles. Look at that. Pretty delicious. <laughs> A rectangle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, skinny rectangles. Look at that. <laughs> Provocative <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh. <coughs> Tender. Mm. That's what I call.
all starting over. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> let's make a house. Whoa! <laughs> That's what I call starting over. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> uh, fare thee well to us. <laughs> that means goodbye, you know. Yeah. Whoa, that was some awesome building. How about checking out some other shapes and sizes with us? Ever sing along with Zack? It's the best. Yeah. We're rolling! Hey, sport! How about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? I'll bet you're wondering what you can do for your old pal Chester today. Well, we've got a real mix and match mystery to solve. Hit the go button and you'll see what I mean. This poor object has lost its shadow. It's somewhere in the scene. Can you find it? Drag each object over to its matching shadow. Need a hint? Just click on me. Need a hint? Just click on me. Psst! Check out these. Does one of them match up? See the piece below me? Just drag it over to where it belongs. Cool truck. Hammer. Huh. An electric saw. That's an electric drill. They call this a grinder. A lamp. Jigsaw. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Whoa, talk about smooth sailing. Nice job. Hey, hey, champ. Want to heat things up? Click on that kid down there to make things tougher. Or click on the stopwatch to play Beat the Clock. Whoa, looks like we're going to play a tough round. Hey, partner, you ready? This one's going to be a little tricky. Circular saw. They call this a grinder. Bricks. A bucket. Cool truck. A sander. Work boots. Ooh. Yowzer wowzer! Now that's piecing things together, sport. Nice job. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Oh, he 
easy as pie. Okay, let's play Beat the Clock. Okay, Speed Demon, go! Circular Saw. Oh, yeah, a lunchbox. Mm. Gas tank. <laughs> Work boots. Ooh. Cement mixer. A bucket. Now that's a wrench. Yowie zowie! Did I just see what I think I saw? Did you just beat the clock? Fantastic! Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Whoa! Looks like we're gonna play a tough round. Hang on! You gotta match these items up before the clock hits zero. A sander! Hey! A saw! Oh yeah! A lunchbox! That's an electric drill. Jigsaw. Don't worry about that old time clock. You did your very best, and that's more than enough for me, sport. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Okay, speed demon, go! A sander! They call this a grinder. Bricks. Work boots. Ooh. Circular saw. A bucket. Cool truck. <laughs> you beat the clock. Now that's what I call a big win. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Hang on, you gotta match these items up before the clock hits zero. A wheelbarrow. An electric saw. Hammer. Huh. Jigsaw. One hard hat. A lamp. Bricks. Woo, woo, woo. We are time picture perfect. Excellent. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Okay, speed demon, go. A sander. Jigsaw. Oh, yeah, a lunchbox. That's an electric drill. Now that's a wrench. Hey, a saw. 
Gas tank. <laughs> my, my, time did fly. You beat the clock. <laughs> Good job. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. You'll have to beat the clock. Oh, but don't worry. I'm right behind you. Circular saw. Cement mixer. Hey, a saw. Whoa, a jackhammer. Now that's a wrench. A bucket. Work boots? Woo, woo, woo. I am impressed. Way to go, pro. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Hang on. You got to match these items up before the clock hits zero. Hammer. Huh. Jigsaw. One hard hat. An electric saw. A lamp. Bricks. A wheelbarrow. Whoops, time ran out. Oh, don't worry, sport. I got a hunch you'll do better next time. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. You'll have to beat the clock. Oh, but don't worry. I'm right behind you. A sander. Gas tank. Cool truck. Oh, yeah, a lunchbox. That's an electric drill. That old time clock just marches on, don't it? Well, I'll bet you get even closer next round, Scout. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Hang on. You got to match these items up before the clock hits zero. Gas tank. A sander. That's an electric drill. Jigsaw. Hey, a saw. Oh. Hey, champ, don't let that old clock get you down. I'll bet you get even closer next time. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. You'll have to beat the clock. Oh, but don't worry. I'm right behind you. A lamp. Bricks. One hard hat. Jigsaw. An electric saw. A wheelbarrow. Hammer. Huh. Oh, that old time clock just marches on, don't it? Hey, I'll bet you get even closer next round, Scout. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Okay, Speed Demon, go! Jigsaw. Gas tank. Hey, a saw. Oh, yeah, a lunchbox. A sander. That's an electric drill. Now that's a yowzer wowzer! <whistles> Talk about time tested. <laughs> you got it down. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Enough shadow play, huh? Let's mosey on over and see what Zack and the gang are up to. 
Chester had you chasing shadows, huh? <laughs> that guy. There's more folks itching to play with you. Ever sing along with Zach? It's the best. Yeah. <laughs> you won't be sorry. You know, everything we make comes in some shape or other. Check out this place here. Knock on the door, it's a rectangle. Look up at the roof, that's a triangle. It takes a lot of shapes to make a house shape up. Check out the porch light, that's a circle up there. Open up the window, look at there, it's a square. It takes a lot of shapes to make a house shape up. Looks like it's shaping up pretty fine, don't you think? Oh no. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Bet you somebody wants to play with you. Hey, sport, we've got some shadow matching to do. Let's go. Okay, we're on our way. Retail Theater presents Monkey Sue in All Around the Clock Tower. The new clock tower looks super duper, Juanita. You and your crew have done a great job. Yeah, and just in time. The mayor's coming by soon for the ribbon cutting ceremony. I can't wait. Uck, yuck, rotten luck. <laughs> rotten wrench. You have no sense of civic pride. Hey, things look kind of out of shape around here. <laughs> Give my regards to the mayor. <laughs> oh, no. This must be repaired, but I've got to stay to greet the mayor when he comes, so I can't go get the supplies. Juanita, this is your lucky day. I can go get the supplies for you. Can you drive a five-ton truck? <laughs> sure. Piece of cake. Great. Okay. We need a round window, a square clock, and a rectangular door. Let me get this straight. We need a round window, a square clock, and a rectangular door. Got it. Take five, Juanita. I'll be back pronto. Let's see. Which window should I pick? This one's round, just like the whole rotten wrench left. Thanks so much. Okay, doors. What kind of door does Juanita need? Hey, a rectangular door. That will fit the whole rotten wrench left perfectly. Muchas gracias. Now I need a clock face. Gee, which one should I pick? Here's a square clock face. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Monkey Sue, boy, am I glad to see you. Mayor Spaulding can't hold these scissors up much longer. Uh-oh. I'm tilting at a 28-degree angle. Let's get going. Hey, Monkey Sue, would you help the mayor? I'd be honored. Beautiful! That circular window fits perfectly in the round frame. Nice and easy. Yep. Rectangular doors fit just right in rectangular door frame. Better hurry it up, Juanita. The weight of these scissors seems to be increasing exponentially. Just one last thing, Mayor. Hang on! The square clock face fits our square hole to a T. Now the clock tower is finished. See here, Juanita. Are you done yet? Yes, Your Honor. Citizens of Infinity City, we are gathered here today to dedicate our new clock tower, built by our very own Juanita Gonzalez. I hereby cut the honorary ribbon. Thanks for getting just the right shaped parts, Monkey Sue. You know, it wouldn't have been ready without you. You're more than welcome, Juanita. I'm always glad to help. 
The End. There you are. We've been trying to guess what you'll do next. Come on, honey. I got one shot that says it all. Hey, Infinity General Hospital. I got a friend works here. Let's have some fun. Dr. Reverb's charts are a mess. Let's sort them out. All right, this is gonna be fun. Furry Tail Theater presents Diagnosis Monkey Sue. Whoa, Monkey Sue, nice hat. What do you need me to do? We've got a whole circus trip coming in with um health problems and their charts are all mixed up. That's terrible. Yeah, so I need you to figure out which chart goes with which patient, then send them to me and I'll fix them up. Are you ready? Dr. Reverb, ready is practically my middle name. Excellent. I am the great Marcel Trapezium, and oh boy, my leg is killing me. Let's see which chart belongs to him. Right this way, Mr. Trapezium. Dr. Reverb is waiting. A thousand thanks. Ay, ay, ay. I am the famous and beautiful Georgine Trapezium, and my belly whirls like a blender. <laughs> Gee, that sounds terrible. I wonder which chart belongs to Georgine. Dr. Reverb is right through there, Georgine. He'll fix you right up. You're a doll, thank you. I can't go on! My tooth is going a boom, boom, boom. I am Pierre Trapezium. Do you recognize me? Pierre, Pierre. Hmm, which chart is his? Right this way, Pierre. You'll feel better in no time. Let's hope so. I am little Ifit Trapezium and my arm hurts. Don't worry, Dr. Reverb can help you. You just tiptoe through there, Yvette. You'll be just fine. I will? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, where's my act? The fabulous flying trapeziums. Have they been treated yet? Dr. Reverb is with them right now. They'll be out soon. Hey, looking good, looking good. So, are you ready for the big act tonight? Look at this cast on my arm. Nice, huh? But my leg, oh boy, it still hurts. But Dr. Reverb, they're not all fixed up. How do you explain this? Uh, somebody boo-booed. But the big act is tonight. And if we cancel, I'm all washed up. And I don't want to be washed up. <laughs> Gee, Dr. Reverb, I like to think of failure as one small step towards success. Hey, that's right. We'll get a lot closer next time. <laughs> the end. I hear you met Dr. Reverb. What a guy. What else do we have that's just as stimulating? I got two of everything up my sleeve. Come on and see. All right, this is gonna be fun. Furry Tail Theater presents Diagnosis Monkey Sue. Whoa, Monkey Sue, nice hat. What do you need me to do? We've got a whole circus trip coming in with um health problems and their charts are all mixed up. That's terrible. Yeah, so I need you to figure out which chart goes with which patient, then send them to me and I'll fix them up. Are you ready? Dr. Reverb, ready is practically my middle name. Excellent. I am the great Marcel Trapezium, and oh boy, my leg is killing me. Let's see which chart belongs to him.
Right this way, Mr. Trapezium. Dr. Reverb is waiting. A thousand thanks. Ay, ay, ay. I am the famous and beautiful Georgine Trapezium, and my belly whirls like a blender. Gee, that sounds terrible. I wonder which chart belongs to Georgine. Dr. Reverb is right through there, Georgine. He'll fix you right up. You're a doll, thank you. I can't go on! My tooth is going a boom! 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 I am Pierre Trapezium. Do you recognize me? Pierre, Pierre. Hmm, which chart is his? Right this way, Pierre. You'll feel better in no time. Let's hope so. I am little if it trapezium and my arm hurts. Don't worry, Dr. Reverb can help you. You just tiptoe through there, Yvette. You'll be just fine. I will? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, where's my act? The fabulous flying trapeziums. Have they been treated yet? Dr. Reverb is with them right now. They'll be out soon. Hey, looking good, looking good. So, are you ready for the big act tonight? Absolutely. With a cast like this, who needs legs? The fizzy medicine worked. My stomach feels much better. I am famous and beautiful again. I can't stand it no more. I've got this cast on my arm, but my tooth is still going boom, boom, boom. But Dr. Reverb, they're not all fixed up. How do you explain this? Uh, somebody boo-booed. But the big act is tonight, and if we cancel, I'm all washed up. And I don't want to be washed up. <laughs> Gee, Dr. Reverb, I like to think of failure as one small step towards success. Hey, that's right. We'll get a lot closer next time. <laughs> The end. <laughs> nice to see you, man. You got a little more energy left in that hand of yours? Good. I got two of everything up my sleeve. Come on and see. All right. This is going to be fun. Furry Tail Theater presents... Diagnosis, Monkey Sue? Whoa, Monkey Sue, nice hat. What do you need me to do? We've got a whole circus trip coming in with, um, health problems, and their charts are all mixed up. That's terrible. Yeah, so I need you to figure out which chart goes with which patient, then send them to me, and I'll fix them up. Are you ready? Dr. Reverb, ready is practically my middle name. Excellent. I am the great Marcel Trapezium, and oh boy, my leg is killing me. Let's see which chart belongs to him. Right this way, Mr. Trapezium. Dr. Reverb is waiting. A thousand thanks. Ay, ay, ay. I am the famous and beautiful Georgian Trapezium, and my belly whirls like a blender. <laughs> Gee, that sounds terrible. I wonder which chart belongs to Georgine. Dr. Reverb is right through there, Georgine. He'll fix you right up. You're a doll, thank you. I can't go on! My tooth is going a boom! 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 I am Pierre Trapezium. Do you recognize me? Pierre, Pierre. Hmm, which chart is his? Right this way, Pierre. You'll feel better in no time. Let's hope so. I am little if it trapezium and my arm hurts. Don't worry, Dr. Reverb can help you. You just tiptoe through there, Yvette. You'll be just fine. I will? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, where's my act? The fabulous flying trapeziums. Have they been treated yet? Dr. Reverb is with them right now. They'll be out soon. Hey, looking good, looking good. So, are you ready for the big act tonight? Absolutely. With a cast like this, who needs legs? The fizzy medicine worked. 
My stomach feels much better. I am famous and beautiful again. When do I go on? Dr. Reverb, feel my cavity. I'm a happy man. Dr. Reverb gave me this cast to fix my arm? Now I can tiptoe so much better. Dr. Reverb, Monkey Sue, you've done a fantastic job. They look fabulous. They look famous. And beautiful? And beautiful. Come on, we got to get down to the circus right away. Monkey Sue, how would you like to be our guest aerialist? Me? Oh, boy, would I? Ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous, the famous, the beautiful flying trapeziums. And their friend, Monkey Sue. The end. Nice to see you, man. You got a little more energy left in that hand of yours? Good. I got two of everything up my sleeve. Come on and see. Hang on, sugar. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. Did you know the number two is twice as much as the number one? Well, it is. And I've got two great photos right here. You want to get the full picture? Just click on either one. Oh, looks like these two sure know how to have fun in a hospital, don't it? Or maybe they always have fun together. Did you hear the two in that word? Together? You want to count, Sophie and Jack? Go on. Let's see if you can spot anything that comes in twos in this picture. That's right. There's two kids behind two magnifying glasses. Let's pick another one, honey. This one's already been counted. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> look at those tongues. You are right. There's two of them in the picture. Oopsie, we counted that one already. To count it right, you count each thing only once. That's right. Sophie and Jack have two eyes each. Uh-huh, two ears, yeah. Whoops, oh, we already counted that one. Oh, try one you haven't counted yet. Oopsie, we counted that one already. To count it right, you count each thing only once. Oh, try one you haven't counted yet. That's right. There's two hands holding that magnifying glass.
Whoops. Oh, we already counted that one. You go ahead and click on that picture to start, sugar. Oh, there's a lot more to do with these pictures than what you see now. Click on either one, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, let's go see where Zack went off to. That Velma, she's two for two. Bet you're ready for some action, huh? Let's see. Oh, uh, <laughs> we can examine the patients, you know. Yeah, come on. Whoa, we're off! Oh, uh, uh, oh, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. We are in the examination room. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff to play doctor with here, yeah. <laughs> Click on my belly for some patients to examine and uh, stuff like that, yeah. Oh, a patient in hospital garb. <laughs> you want to x-ray her? Oh my, we are looking at this patient's intestines. <laughs> She's got uh, 28 feet of them, you know, all curled up in there. <laughs> 125 pounds. An arm cast. <laughs> oh, that's for, uh, arms. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, anyone need a Band-Aid? An arm cast. <laughs> oh, that's for, uh, arms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a cast. Uh, that kind, it goes on your leg. Oh, hey, a, uh, um, a sphygma monometer. <laughs> I can never say that. <laughs> but you can take someone's blood pressure with it. Yep. <laughs> oh, a cast. Uh, that kind, it goes on your leg. <laughs> A dog patient. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> Extra tall patient. <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's give him a thorough examination. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, 
one leg bone. Hey, you know how many bones we have in our bodies? 206! Whoa, that's really, really a lot! Whoa, my goodness. Oh, 195 pounds. Getting up there. Yeah. <laughs> A real live patient. <laughs> I wonder if anything. Oh, hey, look, <laughs> those are his lungs. <laughs> you know, everybody's got two, you know, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 185 pounds. He's lighter. He's lighter. A patient with the hey socks on. <laughs> I wonder what she weighs. <sighs> that. Oh, that side is lighter now. <sighs> Let's see now. 145 pounds. She's lighter. Extra tall patient. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <Let's>... <sighs> oh, that is a thermometer. <laughs> uh, you can take people's temperatures with it. Yeah. Whoa, 102 degrees. <laughs> well, now, that sounds high, <laughs> but it's normal for a dog. Yeah. Oh, you feel good, dear. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, 98.6 degrees. Well, <laughs> perfect. Holy Toledo, 102.5. He's got a fever. Extra tall patient. Hey, let's give him a thorough examination. Ooh. Hey, 98.6. Healthy as a horse. Hey, pal, got a bone to pick with me? Get it? Bone? <laughs> hmm. I wonder what we can do with that big ruler. Hmm. Ah, a tongue depressor. <laughs> That's to look inside your mouth. Say, uh, uh... Hmm, uh, 70 degrees. Huh. Say, uh, uh, ah. Say, uh, uh, ah. Say, uh, uh, <gasps> hey, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, a uh, cast. Uh, that kind it goes on your leg. Oh, a patient in hospital garb. <laughs> you wanna x-ray her? Ooh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> her temperature is 98.6 degrees. <laughs> oh, that is normal for a person, yes. <laughs> Say, uh, uh... A reflex hammer <laughs> to check reflexes. Yeah. <coughs> oh, excellent reflexes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, excellent reflexes, 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 yes. <laughs> Ooh, yuck, ooh, a syringe. <laughs> Those are for shots. Ow, A uh, cast. Uh, that kind, it goes on your leg. Hey, huh, anyone need a band-aid? Oh, a uh, cast. Uh, that kind, it goes on your leg. Gee. An arm cast. <laughs> oh, that's for a... A band-aid. <laughs> oh, those are handy. Yeah. Oh, a cast. Uh, that kind, it goes on your leg. An arm cast. <laughs> oh, that's for a... Oh, hey! <laughs> a stethoscope! <laughs> oh, you can listen to heartbeats with it. Yeah.
what we can do with that big ruler. Hmm. Oh boy, a uh, doggy x-ray. <laughs> Those are, uh, uh, oh, the bones in his head and neck. Oh, cute little Fido. Oh boy, a uh, doggy x-ray. <laughs> oh boy, a uh, doggy x-ray. <laughs> oh boy, a uh, doggy x-ray. <laughs> Whoa, 76 pounds. Oh, that side is heavier now. Oh, that side is lighter now. Mm. Oh, that side is heavier now. 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 Gee, an arm cast. <laughs> oh, that's for, uh, arms. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a cast. Uh, that kind, it goes on your leg. Oh, that side is lighter now. Oh, that side is heavier now. Gee, an arm cast. <laughs> oh, that's for, uh, arms. Yeah. <laughs> mm, ribbit. <laughs> oh, that is frog for, thank you. Oh, uh, hey, <laughs> are you finished with your examination? Okay, let's go find Zack and the others. Hello again, Doc. Listen, these guys are gonna pop a button if you don't play with one of them. I feel a counting song coming on. Mm -hmm. Hang on, sugar. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. Did you know the number two is twice as much as the number one? Well, it is. And I've got two great photos right here. You want to get the full picture? Just click on either one. Okay, let's go see where Zach went off to. Nice to see you, man. You got a little more energy left in that hand of yours? Good. I feel a counting song coming on. <laughs> That's my cue. Let's go. Hey, sport, how about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? Infinity General's got a little mix and match puzzle in store for us. Hit the go button and we'll get started. See the puzzle piece below me? That belongs somewhere in the scene. Can you match it up? 
Just drag it over to where it belongs. You are doing great! Need a hint? Just click on me! Only four left. Let's find them. Was that constructive? You got seven out of seven. Congratulations! Hey, hey, champ. Wanna heat things up? Click on that kid down there to make things tougher. Or click on the stopwatch to play Beat the Clock. It's official. Beat the Clock is on. Hustle up, Scout. That clock is running. Need a hint? Just click on me. Check out these empty spots. Do you see a match? Hey, you're doing so good, you remind me of me. Psst. Hey, sport. That piece looks like it fits over here. Whoa, you are doing great. Check out these empty spots. Do you see a match? Only four left. Let's find them. Psst. Hey, sport. That piece looks like it fits over here. Need a hint? Just click on me. One of these guys will work. Which is it? That's all? Well, yippee, hey, hey! Did I just see what I think I saw? Did you just beat the clock? Fantastic! Ready to play again? Hit the go button. I'm with you. Let's turn that clock off. Hang on, this one's a brain burner. Loosen up those digits, champ. This next round is gonna be rough. Check out these empty spots. Do you see a match? Hey, you're doing so good, you remind me of me. Psst. Hey, sport. That piece looks like it fits over here. Need a hint? Just click on me. Check out these empty spots. Do you see a match?
one of these guys will work. Which is it? Three more. Let's look really hard. Check out these empty spots. Do you see a match? Two left. That's all? Need a hint? Just click on me. One to go. You're doing great. Yowzer, wowzer. Boy, oh boy, nice work. I could better myself. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. It's official. Beat the clock is on. Hustle up, Scout. That clock is running. Hey, sport, that piece looks like it fits over here. Hey, you're doing so good, you remind me of me. One of these guys will work. Which is it? Whoa, you are doing great. Check out these empty spots. Do you see a match? Only four left. Let's find them. One of these guys will work. Which is it? Three more. Let's look really hard. Psst. Hey, sport. That piece looks like it fits over here. Need a hint? Just click on me. Two left. That's all? One of these guys will work. Which is it? One to go. You're doing great. Yowzer wowzer! I am impressed. Way to go, pro. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Whoa, looks like you got the picture. Let's go find the others. What a puzzle that was, huh? Let's see. What sounds good now? I feel a counting song coming on. Mm -hmm. Wise move. Wise, wise move. <laughs> you want to know my favorite counting project? Me. No fooling. Thanks for jamming. What are you in the mood for now? I feel a counting song coming on. Mm -hmm. Wise move. Wise, wise move. <laughs> you want to know my favorite counting project? Me. No fooling. Count on me. Count my eyes, one, two, count my toes. There's five inside each shoe. I've got two ears, two elbows, and two knees, but only one nose, and it wants to <laughs> sneeze. <laughs> got my teeth, they help me chew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Nice to see you, man. You got a little more energy left in that hand of yours? Good. 
I feel a counting song coming on. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, Fourth Street. Wild place to explore, especially if you're a number nut like me. Hey, <laughs> hey, uh, there's a room that needs to be decorated. Come on. Party time! Let's go. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue Takes the Cake. Whoa, Bip's gonna love this egg cake. Especially since it's his eighth birthday. I just have to get it to the party in one piece. Uh-oh. Ack yuck, rotten luck. Oh no, the party invitation. Rotten wrench, you are so... <clears throat> boring. How am I supposed to find the party now? That's it. I'll call Bip for directions. Hmm. Skids McQueen's phone number is 27. Coach Woodeye can be reached at number 40. Letitia's phone number is 33. Here's Bip's number, 15. One. Five. Bip's please. Hiya, Bip. It's Monkey Sue. Monkey Sue? Where are you? You're supposed to be here with my cake. I know, I know, but I lost my invitation. It's a long story. What's your address? It's easy. Just come to building number 21 on Decimal Street. Number 21? Yeah. Then get on the elevator and go to the fourth floor. Four. Great. But hurry up, Monkey Sue. Some of the kids are already here. Hey, this is Decimal Street. Now all I need to do is find the right building. Hmm, which one should I pick? Excuse me, I'm looking for a boy named Bip. Does he live here? Why, he most certainly does, my dear. And he awaits you breathlessly, so go on up. Go on up, my dear. Yes, indeed. <sighs> We're almost there. I just need to pick the right floor. Which floor should I pick? Hmm. Bip, I'm here with your cake. Yahoo! Yeah. 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 Happy birthday to you! 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 Thanks, Monkey Sue, for saving my party. Oh, gee, Bip. You can always count on me. The end. Bips ate already? Imagine that. We got a number of things to check out now. One, two, three, fourth street. Got a ton of threes everywhere. I can show you. This way, Scout. Hey, Sport. How about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? Let me tell you, delivering the mail kills my back. Hey, I got a flash. How about you help me out? Go on and hit that go button. See the package in the window below me? The number on it matches the number on one of the apartment doors. All you gotta do is drag this package to the door with the matching address. Number 500 and... Number 500 and... Number 300 and... Number 500... Number 400 and... Number 4... Number 300 and... <laughs> you matched everything up. What a great job. I'm taking you with me everywhere. Come on, let's play again. Just hit the go button. And if you want a challenge, 
Click on that kid down there. But watch out. Okay, ready for a challenge? Hang on, the clock is on. We've got to go. The clock is on. Number 17. Number 18. Number 11. Number 12. Number 13. Number 14. Number 15. Boy, oh boy, nice work. I couldn't have done it better myself. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Hustle up, Scout. That clock is number one. Number 11. Number 12. Number two. Number seven. Number six. Oh, that old time clock just marches on, don't it? Hey, I'll bet you get even closer next round, Scout. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. We've got to go. The clock is on. Number 10. Number 11. Number 13. Number 15. Number 14. Number 16. Number 19. Oh, that old time clock just marches on, don't it? Well, I'll bet you get even closer next round. Scout, ready to play again? Hit the go button. Hustle up, Scout. That clock is running. Number four. Number two. Number eight. Number five. Number three. Number six. Number one. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! My, my, time did fly. You beat the clock. <laughs> Good job. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Matched your last? No problem. Let's go see what Zach's up to. You did Chester a nice turn delivering all that mail. Want to keep your heart rate up? Try one of us. One, two, three, fourth street got a ton of threes everywhere. I can show you. Hey, <laughs> let's go inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, well, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> hey, guess what? <laughs> we get to decorate Zach's apartment. Yeah. You can move everything around, and you can paint it different colors, too. Uh -huh. Just drag these spray cans over to the stuff you want to paint. But, uh-oh, <laughs> watch out. You gotta match the number on the can to the number you see on the object, or it won't work. Nope. Just click on me, and I'll give you stuff to work with. Hey, <laughs> you can paint with this spray can, you know. Yeah, <laughs> find stuff in Zach's apartment with the same number, and then drag this can over. Lamp. Hey, <laughs> let's color it. <laughs> oh, which can would work? Oh, now that is a gorgeous color. I wonder what happens if you click on it now. Whoa, <laughs> nice.
nice couch. Hmm. <laughs> A window. <laughs> All one radio. A chair, who? <laughs> Window, whoa! Lamp. <laughs> a fish in a bowl. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, a chair. <laughs> comfy, comfy. Oh, hey, a lamp. <laughs> that sheds light, you know. Yeah. A, uh, <laughs> a side table sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, a chair. <laughs> comfy, comfy. Hey, <laughs> you know what? I'm all out of stuff. Why don't you feed me something? Yeah, please. Oh, yeah. Ribbit. <laughs> oh, yum. <laughs> that was seasoned to perfection. Oh, dear. <laughs> this decorating, it is hard work. <laughs> hey, let's go relax with the rest of the gang. Boy, that room looks nice. Hey, these guys are itching for action. What's next? One, two, three, fourth street. Got a ton of threes everywhere. I can show you. Let's go take a look. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. Pick any one of my snapshots here and you'll see three in action at one, two, three, fourth street. Up close and personal, as they say. Oh, would you look at that. There are lots of people that live in this building. Do any of these mailboxes have the number three on them? Oh, very good. That's a three. Looks like there are a whole bunch more, too. You go ahead and find all you can. How about that? Just absolutely right. How about that? Just the no absolutely right. How about that? Just the no absolutely right. Oh, honey, you found every same three. Give yourself a big hand. Oh, very good. How about that? Just absolutely right. How about that? Just absolutely. How about that? Just the number. Oh, try one you haven't counted yet. Absolutely right. Oh, honey, you found every single three. Give yourself a big hand. You want to get the full picture? Okay, just click on any of these. My goodness, it's somebody's third birthday. Aren't those candles pretty? Oh, let's count them. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Well, I'll be smoked. You count them all perfectly. I see something else in this picture that comes in threes. Can you find it? That's right, sugar. There are three tulips right outside that window. Two. Three. Absolutely right. You're batting a thousand. One, two, three. Say, you count just like a professional. Nice work, Lamb Chop. Oh, there's a lot more to do with these pictures than what you see now. Click on any one of them and you'll see what I mean. I took this shot in the lobby while I was waiting for one of those elevators. How about we count these patient people? Here we go. One, two, three. Hey, you counted that exactly right.
How about that? Just... Yep. That's absolutely right. You're batting a thousand. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, Lamb Chop, seeing you count like that. Well, I just want to swoon with pride. You want to get the full picture? Okay, just click on any of these. All done? Well, let's see where the others have wandered off to. Things do come in threes, don't they? Let's see what else is happening. I got a song in my heart. How about we boogie down? Yeah, okay, let's wail. For cabbies like me, man, numbers are essential. Without them, I'm just a guy driving around. But with them, hmm, well. At 2043 West 80th Street, apartment 44, I knock on your door, I've got your number. So I know where you live. I dial 555-3742. Hello? You pick up the phone, I'm talking to you, I've got your number, so I know where you live. <laughs> Numbers can take you right where you want to go, can't they? Well, what's next? One, two, three, fourth street, got a ton of threes everywhere. I can show you. Feast your eyes, man. The size mobile shop. Come on, let's tinker. This tune will make you want to croon. Give me a push, man. Excellent choice. Let's go. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue Gets Size Swiped. Careful. Skids McQueen needs this car in tip-top shape for his big jump today. Skids McQueen is jumping today? Boy, am I glad I stopped by. Monkey Sue, would you mind watching the shop while I go down to Metro Burger? Me? Why, of course, Margaret. Just don't let anybody near that car. I'll be right back. Uh, yuck, rotten luck. Hey, this fancy car looks like a flyer. But can it fly with this toy tire? <laughs> Rotten wrench, why'd you do that? I'm here for my car, Margaret. What? What happened to my tire? It's pint-sized. It's puny. It's itty-bitty. I'll be the laughing stock of the stunt uh, circuit. Uh... Mr. Skids. Please! I don't care what it takes. You gotta fix my car! But, Mr. Skids? Oh, boy. Well, I guess I'll just have to fix it myself. Let me think. Which size tire should I choose? I'll choose this one. Boy, that's not easy. Folks, folks, we're just moments away from Skids McQueen's big jump. Is my car done? I still need to tighten the tire on. Come on, kid. I'm dying out there. Now I need a wrench to tighten it up. Let's see. Which one's the right size? Uh, this wrench is too small. And now, jumping on track number two is that fabuloso stuntman, Skids McQueen! Out of my way, monkey. Them burgers aren't half. Hey! 
boy, oh boy, skids, you're really something. <laughs> I am the fabulous Skids McQueen. I will remain calm, cool, and collected. I couldn't get the tire screwed on tight, Margaret. Sounds like you could have used a different sized wrench. Yeah, that's right. Now I know what I'll do next time. The end. Skids McQueen was a classmate of mine. Brr. Hey, I know some car buffs aching to take you for a spin. Say, champ, help me get the mechanics dressed. Excellent choice. Let's go. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue Gets Size Swiped. Careful. Skids McQueen needs this car in tip-top shape for his big jump today. Skids McQueen is jumping today? Boy, am I glad I stopped by. Monkey Sue, would you mind watching the shop while I go down to Metro Burger? Me? Why, of course, Margaret. Just don't let anybody near that car. I'll be right back. Uh, yuck, rotten luck. Hey, this fancy car looks like a flyer. But can it fly with this toy tire? <laughs> Rotten wrench, why'd you do that? I'm here for my car, Margaret. What? What happened to my tire? It's pint-sized. It's puny. It's itty-bitty. I'll be the laughingstock of the stunt circuit. Uh, uh... Mr. Skids. Please! I don't care what it takes. You gotta fix my car! But, Mr. Skids? Oh, boy. Well, I guess I'll just have to fix it myself. Let me think. Which size tire should I choose? I'll choose this one. Boy, that's not easy. Folks, folks, we're just moments away from Skids McQueen's big jump. Is my car done? I still need to tighten the tire on. Come on, kid. I'm dying out there. Now I need a wrench to tighten it up. Let's see. Which one's the right size? There. Easy as pie. And now, jumping on track number two, is that fabuloso stuntman... Skids McQueen! Out of my way, monkey. Them burgers aren't half... Hey! Hey, Skids! What do you call that jump? Over easy? Nah! <laughs> this tire is too big. Something tells me I better use a smaller tire next time, huh, Margaret? He looks better upside down, doesn't he? The end. Hey, back at you. We're dying to show you all we got. So what's next? This tune will make you want to croon. Give me a push, man. Excellent choice. Let's go. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue Gets Size Swiped. Careful. Skids McQueen needs this car in tip-top shape for his big jump today. Skids McQueen is jumping today? Boy, am I glad I stopped by. Monkey Sue, would you mind watching the shop while I go down to Metro Burger? Me? Why, of course, Margaret. Just don't let anybody near that car. I'll be right back. Uh, yuck, rotten luck. Hey, this fancy car looks like a flyer. But can it fly with this toy tire? <laughs> rotten wrench, why'd you do that? I'm here for my car, Margaret. What? What happened to my tire? It's pint-sized. It's 
puny. It's itty bitty. I'll be the laughing stock of the stunt circuit. Uh, uh, Mr. Skid. Please. I don't care what it takes. You gotta fix my car. But Mr. Skid? Oh boy. Well, I guess I'll just have to fix it myself. Let me think. Which size tire should I choose? I'll choose this one. Uh, uh, boy, that's not easy. Folks, folks, we're just moments away from Skids McQueen's big jump. Is my car done? I still need to tighten the tire on. Come on, kid. I'm dying out there. Now I need a wrench to tighten it up. Let's see. Which one's the right size? There. Easy as pie. And now, jumping on track number two is that fabuloso stuntman... Skids McQueen! Out of my way, monkey. Them burgers aren't half... Thank you, thank you. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Looks like things went pretty well around here. Uh, smooth as silk, Margaret. The end. Hey, back at you. We're dying to show you all we got. So what's next? Hey, <laughs> wanna make some fantabulous cars? Okay, right this way. Hang on. <laughs> oh, uh, well, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 the Sizemobile shop? Oh, it's the perfect place for creating really neat cars. Yeah. Click on me, and I'll give you all the stuff you need. But, uh, <laughs> watch out. You gotta match big stuff to big stuff, and small stuff to small stuff, or something pretty weird can happen, you know. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big duck engine. <laughs> and there's a little one. <laughs> you want to watch them waddle? <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> Maxie and Minnie dog engines. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> think you can make a little dog car? <coughs> oh, hey, <laughs> dinosaur engines. <laughs> can you make the big one roar? Engine's just too teeny weeny for this big. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Atomizers. <laughs> oh, yeah, my mom's got some of these. Hey, <laughs> what happens when you spray the little car? Oh boy! <laughs> Maxi and Minnie dog engines. <laughs> hey, <laughs> think you can make a little dog car? <laughs> Ribbit. <laughs> Oh. Oh. 
Now that is fine dining, yes. Hey! <laughs> lobster engines come in two sizes, you know. <laughs> I bet you you can make a tiny lobster car. Dinosaur engines. <laughs> Can you make the big one roar? Time to hop along now. Don't see many cars like that. Hey, we got some more big ideas. This tune will make you want to croon. Give me a push, man. Let's go! Hey, sport, how about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? Hey there, Scout. Let's see what kind of mix-and-match mess-up we got going today here at the Sizemobile shop. Just hit the go button. See the pair of overalls below? Well, they fit one of these mechanics perfectly. All you gotta do is drag them over to the right mechanic. I am impressed. Way to go, pro. Hit the go button and we can play again. If you want to make the game harder, click on that kid down there. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. Oh boy, this round takes some pretty serious eyeballing. Ho ho, that's what I call expert matching. You got every single one right. Great job. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Gear up. That clock is going on. The clock is on, sport. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Oh. 
you matched everything up. What a great job. I'm taking you with me everywhere. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. The clock is ticking. Match away, champ. See the pair of overalls below? All you gotta do is direct. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whoops, time ran out. Oh, don't worry, sport. I got a hunch you'll do better next time. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. The clock is on, sport. <laughs> Let's go. You're doing so good, you remind me of me. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. It's been a pleasure matching with you. Hey, let's see what's up with the others. Snazzy dresses, those mechanics. What do you say we explore some more? This tune will make you want to croon. Give me a push, man. Oh, just wait till you feast your eyeballs on these pictures. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. Can you guess what each one of these pictures has to do with the number four? Well, pick one and check it out. These are tail lights, and they like to be counted. Go ahead. One, two, Three, four! Perfect counting, darling. Well, I couldn't have done it better myself. You want to get the full picture? Okay, just click on any of these. These are what you call your fuzzy dice. Oh, did you know that the dots on dice are called pips? Yeah, let's count the pips facing us on these dice. One, two, three, four. Absolutely right. You're batting a thousand. I see another four in this picture. You want to try and find it? Oh, that is right. Oh, good for you. That is four pips. I see another four in this picture. You want to try and find it? How about that? Just the number we've been yakking about. I see another four in this picture. You want to try and find it? Absolutely right. You're batting a thousand. Well, that's all the fours in this shot, darling. Good job. Well, we got Zip going here, doll. Oh, there's a lot more to do with these pictures than what you see now. Click on any one of them and you'll see what I mean. Hey, looks like someone's working on this car. See any fours in this photo? I'll give you a hint. Look real closely at those legs. Yes, indeed, Sharp Eyes. There's a four in that license plate. That's right. Those cross legs look just like a four. Can you do that? One, two, three... Fowler! Hey, you counted that exactly right. 
Well, that's all the fours in this shot, darling. Good job. Click on any of these pictures and you'll get... Now here, we've got two mechanics and they each have two hands. Two and two, that makes four. I bet you you can count those hands faster than me. On your mark, get set. One, two, three, four. Now that is counting cupcake. Just keep up the good work. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, we have got a counting genius on our hands. Oh, hey, I got a thought. Let's count them again in French, and I'll count with you. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Absolutely right. You're batting a thousand. Un, deux, trois, quatre. How about that? Just the number we've been yakking about. Oh, there's a lot more to do with these pictures than what you see now. Click on any one of them and you'll see what I mean. You finished with four? Okay, let's go see what the gang's sizing up now. Man, those were some fantastic fours. What feels right now? This tune will make you want to croon. Give me a push, man. All right, let's bop. You know, size isn't just a little word, man. It's a big idea. I'm pretty big, but my cab is bigger. My cab is big, but that bus is bigger. The bus is big, but my garage is even bigger. And that's about the size of it. My tie is small, but my hubcap's smaller. <laughs> My hubcap's small, but my keys are smaller. My keys are small, but that little screw looks even smaller. <laughs> and that's about the size of it. Some are big, some are little, some are somewhere in the middle. And that's about the size of it. That's my little song with a big beat. Got a hankering for some more? Bet you haven't seen fours like I got. You go on and choose me. Whoa, the Guggen Time Museum. Come on, let's see if time does fly. We get to be on a game show. Come on. I can't wait. We're on our way. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue in Before and After. Oh, I can't believe I'm finally on television. I hope my friends are watching. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Before and After, the game show about time. Your time, my time, everybody's time. And now... The star of our show, Ricky Rickover! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. This is going to be a great game. But let's say a big hello to our players. Okay, here's how we play. In round one, you'll see two pictures on the screens behind me. Your job is to choose which picture came before the other one. For example, in this case, this picture came before the other one. You can tell because the hot dog is whole only before the kid takes a bite. So, here we go. 
Anytime you think you know the answer, hit your big red buzzer or the picture you think is correct. Ready, you two? Okay, which came before the other? Okay, Monkey Sue, make your choice. Which picture came before the other? That one. That is absolutely correct! That's a point for Monkey Sue! Okay, which came before the other? Okay, Monkey Sue, make your choice. Which picture came before the other? That one. That is absolutely correct! That's a point for Monkey Sue! Okay, which came before the other? Okay, Monkey Sue, make your choice. Which picture came before the other? That one. That is absolutely correct! That's a point for Monkey Sue! Okay, which came before the other? Okay, Monkey Sue, make your choice. Which picture came before the other? It's that one. That is absolutely correct! That's a point for Monkey Sue! That's our siren to start round two. Now, here's how we play. You'll see two pictures on the screens behind me. Your job is to choose which picture came after the other one. For example, in this case, this picture came after the other one. You can tell because that bite would be missing only after the kid took a bite. So, here we go. Anytime you think you know the answer, hit your big red buzzer or the picture you think is correct. Ready, you two? Which of these pictures? Okay, Monkey Sue, please choose the picture that came after the other. That one. That is absolutely correct! Score a point for Monkey Sue! Which of these pictures came after the other? Okay, Monkey Sue, please choose the picture that came... That one. That is absolutely correct! Score a point for Monkey Sue! Which of these pictures came after the other? Okay, Monkey Sue, please choose the picture that came after the other. That one. That is absolutely correct! Score a point for Monkey Sue! And that's the end of round two. And our winner is... Monkey Sue! Ah, uh, yuck, rotten luck. Thanks for playing, Rotten Wrench. As a consolation prize, you'll be receiving a year's supply of smelly socks. <laughs> Ooh, that smells delicious. Now, Monkey Sue, it's time for your before and after bonus round. This is where we play for the really big bananas. I'm ready, Ricky. Okay, take a look at these three pictures. What we want to know is what happened first, what happened second, and what happened third. What happened first, what happened second, and what happened third. Ready? Okay. What happened first? What happened first? I'll say that one is first. All right. Now, which is second? It's that one. Okay. So this picture that's left must be your choice for frame number three. Monkey Sue, your answer is... Absolutely, positively, 100% correct! Wow. You are the grand prize winner of... An infinite number of ultra-ripe bananas! You mean all I can eat?
and so much more. Ultra Ripe, the only banana that's as mushy on the outside as it is on the inside. Ricky, I don't know what to say. I am overwhelmed with emotion. I'd like to thank my friends Bip and Leticia for the unflagging support and Bungie and Chester and Captain. The end. I want a hairdo just like Ricky Rickovers, man. So what happens next? Your call, my friend. Now, honey, you ain't seen fives till you seen my snaps. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> come on. You won't be sorry. Oh, uh, 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 we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Hey, ha <laughs> ha. Here we are at the Time Machine Exhibit. <laughs> oh, you can send stuff into the future or into the past, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just click on my belly for some things to experiment with, yeah. Then drag one into the time machine and choose a setting at the bottom of the machine. And whoa! <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> a cocoon. Oh, boy. <laughs> I wonder what it will be in the future. When it leaves the cocoon, it's a butterfly. Oh, I love them. <laughs> First, it was a caterpillar. was seasoned to perfection. Oh, a young woman. Let's put her in the machine. Oh, look, she was just a baby back then. Oh. Now she's much older. <laughs> I bet she knows a lot of important things. <sighs> that was a tasty morsel. Yep. Hot diggity! A pumpkin. <laughs> Pumpkins start out as little tiny pumpkin seeds. Just between you and me, pumpkins make great pies. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ah. Oh, well, that is just like mom's cooking. Oh, so good. A cocoon. Oh, boy. <laughs> I wonder what it will be in the future. Oh, mmm. Ah, mmm. Oh, that was tender, <laughs> yet colorful. Yep, <laughs> that's a loaf of bread. Plain and simple. You make bread from a plant called... Wheat. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, now when bread sits around too long, it looks like this. Oh, oh, yuck. Ugh. Oh, 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 provocative. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Time to go? Oh, ho, ho. all right. But we'll come back again in the future for sure. Nifty time machine, huh? Let's play some more. It's time I sang you a ditty. Come on, give me a little click-o. Buckle up. 
We're off. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. This is my Artsy Five montage. You like it, honey? The number five comes in real handy when you're dealing with time. Click on any one of these snapshots and you'll see what I mean. This is called a sundial, and that's because it uses the sun to tell you what time it is. All those X's and V's and I's are Roman numerals. Now here's how you count to five in Roman numerals. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, sugar, how about you try clicking on those Roman numerals and I'll tell you what number they are. You go ahead and click on that picture to start, sugar. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, four, five, six, click on any of these pictures and you'll get the total effect of my camera work. Oh, aren't they lovely? These are five genuine pocket watches, darling, all showing that it's five o'clock. Let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness, we have got a counting genius on our hands. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I'll be smoked. You count them all perfectly. Click on any of these pictures and you'll get the total effect of my camera work. Ready to take five? Okay. Now I wonder where Zach and the others got off to. Well, my sure in focus this time. Those fives were looking fine. So, what feels good now? There's some time mischief afoot. I need your help, sport. Let's be off! Hey, sport, how about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? Uh, wanna help Chester do a little mix and match timekeeping? Just hit that little old go button. See this timepiece in the window below me? Well, there's a clock uh, somewhere in the scene with the exact same time on it. All you gotta do is drag each clock over to its match. Click on me if you want a hint. Two o'clock. Eight o'clock. 10 o'clock. 5 o'clock. 7 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Yowie zowie! Boy, was that constructive. You got 7 out of 7. Congratulations! Come on, let's play again. Just hit the go button. And if you want a challenge, just click on that kid down there or hit the stopwatch. Looks like we're gonna turn up the heat. 
Okay, the clock is running. Ready, start. The clock's running, champ. Ooh, do your thing. 12 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 11 o'clock. 6 o'clock. 4 o'clock. 7 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Woohoohoo! Holy moly, you match like a pro. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. The clock is on. Uh, match him up there, sport. Four o'clock. Three o'clock. One o'clock. Six o'clock. Ten o'clock. Two o'clock. Hey, champ. That was one tough round. Next time, I bet you get even closer. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Ready, start. The clock's running, champ. Ooh, do your thing. Eleven o'clock. Need a hint? Just click. Twelve o'clock. Six o'clock. Seven o'clock. Ten o'clock. Nine o'clock. Four o'clock. Well, yippee! Hey, hey! My, my, time did fly! You beat the clock. <laughs> Good job. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Okay, it's time to fly. Let's go. You tell time like a pro. How about we mosey over and see what the others have in store? It's time I sang you a ditty. Come on, give me a little click-o. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. Let me tell you a little secret. I may be Zack. Happy extraordinaire, but when it comes to time, well, I'm just a regular guy. At seven in the morning, I'm a sleepy head. It's about time to get out of bed. At about 12 noon, I'm a hungry guy. It's about time for a pizza pie. At four o'clock, work is done for the day. Hey, it's about time to go out and play. It's time to go to bed at 10 p.m. So tomorrow I can do it all over again. Hey, hey. It's about time. It's about time. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Can't shut me up, can you? Little Birdie's telling me some folks want to play with you. There's some time mischief afoot. I need your help, sport. This is it, Junk Junction. With all this great trash, hard to decide where to go first. Now six? Oh, that's a sassy number. You just come see. Off to a furry tale. Furry Tale Theater presents Monkey Sue in Ship Shape. Ack yuck, rotten luck. <laughs> You're making a boat out of all this junk? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Bet you my boat's faster. <laughs> well, say about that, you mangy wrench. I'm coming back with my boat. 
You better be ready to race. <laughs> Captain Salvage, are you okay, sir? What? Of course I'm okay, Monkey Sue. But we've got work to do. I just challenged Rotten Wrench to a boat race, and my boat's not built yet. Would you get me the pieces I need while I weld the boat together? Why, certainly. This is the front of the boat, the bow. And this is the stern, the back. And these are all the parts I need from my junkyard. Hmm. This is the front of the boat, and this is the back, and these are the parts you need. Think you can handle it, Monkey Sue? I'll do my best. Okay, Monkey Sue. The mast goes up front. Hand me the piece from the junk pile we're using for that. Sure, Captain. Gee, I wonder what piece I should give him. What part did he draw here for the front of the boat? Part coming up, Captain. Right out. One down, three more pieces to go. Now, send me something for the middle here, up above the tub. Gee, I wonder what piece I should give him. Let's see. What would he need in the middle of the tub, up high? Hmm. Middle part coming your way, Captain. Okie dokie. Very good. Two parts left. I need something for the back here to steer with. Gee, I wonder what piece I should give him. Boy, we're at the back of the tub. What piece should I send up to the captain? Stern piece coming at you, Captain. Outstanding. This is it, Monkey Sue. We need one last part right here on the side. Gee, I wonder what piece I should give him. Last thing. Hmm, what piece should I send up to the captain? Here comes the very last part, Captain. Fine work, Monkey Sue. Ack yuck, rotten luck. You guys ready to lose? <laughs> huh. We'll see about that. But first, Monkey Sue, we must double check our boat. Absolutely, Captain. Let's see what we got here. We got a shower head here on the blueprint, and on the boat we have the shower head. Nice work, Monkey Sue. Now, we show the sheet here on the blueprint. And what do we have on the boat? The sheet! That's exactly right. So far, so good, huh? My sentiments exactly. Okay, here on the blueprint, we've got a hockey stick for the rudder. And on the boat, we have the hockey stick for the rudder. Absolutely astonishing. Thank you, Captain. Now, for our life-saving device. On the blueprint, we have the inner tube on the side. And on the boat, we have the inner tube. This is exquisite. Let's get our boat in the water. Hey. Don't overexert yourselves. <laughs> huh? You know, Monkey Sue, you just might be first mate material. I do have a knack for this, don't I? You certainly do. The end. <laughs> that Captain Salvage, he's a character. Listen, anyone know another hot spot? Baby, I gotta let this one out. Click on me. Um, uh, here we go. Oh, uh, 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 we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, <laughs> we lucked out. Oh, ho, ho. can you believe the stuff people throw away? I just don't know. I got a fantabulous idea. Click on my belly, and I'll give you some junk to play with. 
Yeah, <laughs> you can put stuff back together, or even make something like, uh, totally new. Come on, let's get started. Well, now, what can we make of that? Well, mind if I sit down? Oh, <laughs> a school bus. You put that school bus together perfectly. Oh, heck, <laughs> chair parts. Hey, nice work. That looks comfy. Hey, someone took apart the airplane. Can you put it back together? Well, guess it's time to go back to our friends. But, uh, always remember, um, junk is not junk to a junk lover. <laughs> or, uh, something like that. <laughs> that was some junk fiesta there, man. What do you say? Want to snoop around with someone else? Baby, I gotta let this one out. Click on me. Nice picking, Pumpkin. Let's take a peek. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. I bet you never knew junk could look so good on film, did you? Oh, to see how the number six fits into Junk Junction, just click on any one of my snapshots. Now we're talking junk with a capital J. Hard to find a six in a mess like this, but it's there. Do you see it? That's right. Boy, nothing gets by you, does it? Now let's try counting them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my goodness, Lamb Chop. Seeing you count like that, I, well, I just want to swoon with pride. Oh, there's a lot more to do with these pictures than what you see now. Click on any one of them and you'll see what I mean. Sounds good, darling. Now let's see what junk the others have found. Man, that's what I call photogenic sixes. How about working out with one of the rest of us? I got this and I got that, but I need you to put it back together. Let's go, Scout. That's the way. We're off. Hey, sport, how about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? All this junk has one thing in common. 
It's missing a part. That's where you and I come in, champ. Hit that go button, and I'll expound. See the little item in the window? That belongs to one of the incomplete objects in the scene. Your job is to figure out which one and drag it over to it to make it whole. Need a hint? Just click on me. This junk looks promising. Which is correct? That looks like it belongs to one of these. Do you know which one? Hmm, check out this stuff over here. This junk looks promising. Which is correct? Well, yippee, hey, hey! I am impressed. Way to go, pro. How about another game, champ? Press that go button. Or, if you're looking to heat things up a bit, click on that kid down there. Hang on to your hat. Things are gonna get a little bumpy. Are those fingers revved? We're playing Beat the Clock. Go, go, go! The clock is on! Hmm, check out this stuff over here. This junk looks promising. Which is co- Check out this stuff over here. Woo, woo, woo. We are talking picture perfect. Excellent. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Go, go, go! The clock is on! That looks like it belongs to one of these. Do you know which... This junk looks promising. Which is correct? Need a hint? Just click on me. That looks like it belongs to one of these. Do you know which one? Hey, 
Hey, Tiger, you did your very best. We'll get them next time, huh? Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Go, go, go! The clock is on! Hmm, check out this stuff over here. This junk looks promising. Which is correct? That looks like it belongs to one of these. Do you know? Film at 11. This junk looks promising. Which is correct? Whoa, ho, ho. That's what I call expert matching. You got every single one right. Great job. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Okay, let's go back and find the rest of the gang. Chester had you running around but good, huh? Don't sit down. We've got lots of cool junk to show you. Baby, I gotta let this one out. Click on me. Hey, I'm right here. All right, let's do the birdie and chirp. See, the thing about junk is, it isn't really junk. You start putting the pieces together, and, well, let me show you. Monkey Sue's got a wheel, and Chester found a wheel, and Velma's got a handlebar. Bungie brought some pedals, and I've got a piece of metal, and a chain, and a seat, and a horn. Put them all together, you really got something. Put the parts together, you got the whole thing. Add some pedals and a wheel and a seat and a horn and a bicycle is born. What a range, huh? What else is there to do around here? Uh, we can make things with junk, you know. Hey, what's next park? Great place to roam. Everybody's got their favorite spot here. Now come see what makes seven such a swell number. Terrific! We're on our way! Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue Has a Ball. Hey! Uh-oh. Don't worry, Letitia. I'll get it. Thanks, Monkey Sue. That's my favorite ball. Hi, Al. Um, can you help me get Letitia's ball down? <laughs> Let him sleep, sweetie. I can help you get the ball. Who said that? I did, dear. Midge the Pigeon. If you want to get Letitia's ball back, here's what you do. First, you get the key from Al and remember to speak up. Second, you take the key and unlock the locker to get the stool. Third, stand on the stool to reach the tennis racket. Uh-huh. And last, stand on the stool and use the racket to get the ball down. Gee, four separate steps. This could be tricky. Oh, you'll do fine. If you forget a step, just look at your notes. Well, I'm off to the ball game. The popcorn there is scrumptious. Bye, Mitch. Thanks for your tips. Let's see. What did Mitch say I should do first? Hmm, maybe I should check my pad. Hmm, maybe I should check my pad. Al? 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 <laughs> what? May I borrow your key, please? Sure. I've got the key, yes, I've got the key. Oh, I've got the key, and the key has me. But what do I do now? Hey, I can unlock this with the key. Now I've got the stool.
This is fun. Oh, I've got the key. I've got the stool. I've got what it takes. So, what does it take next? There you are, you little racket. I'll just stand on this. And... Voila! I've got it. Yes! I've got the key. I've got the stool. I've got the tennis racket. Oh, hey, you kids, finish up there. The park's gonna close soon. Yes, yes sir. sir. I better figure out how to get that ball down soon. Now, what comes next? Hey, I've got everything I need to get that ball now. Letitia, I followed Midge's directions, and I got your ball back. You sure did. Thanks, Monkey Sue. Give me five. I love this ball. Life sure is looking up, isn't it, Letitia? It sure is. The end. <laughs> Nothing like soccer for recreation, man. You ready to... Recreate some more. Now come see what makes seven such a swell number. Oh, <laughs> we're moving now. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, well, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, <laughs> that's Mr. Thum Thum's musical contraption extraordinaire. <laughs> we can play it, you know. Yeah. Click on me for some special sounds, yep. <laughs> then drag them over to those colored circles on the uh, instrument, yeah. <laughs> and when you're ready to play, click Mr. Thumb Thumbs and we'll boogie down. <laughs> or uh, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Aw, cute pigeon. <laughs> Oh, Mike, oh, it's so juicy. Oh, mm-hmm. Hey, a telephone. <laughs> it rings. Oh, boy, that is good. Um. Mm. Kazoo! <laughs> Let's try it out in the machine. <laughs> oh! <coughs> Tender. Mm. Oh, <laughs> a harmonica. <laughs> That'll make some great tunes. Yep. Oh, <laughs> mm, that, oh, that was totally creative. Yes. <laughs> oh, a drum. <laughs> Ba-boom. <laughs> oh, delectable. Oh, a violin. <laughs> Let's put it in. Oh, now click on Mr. Thumb Thumb. He'll... Oh, <laughs> hey. Oh, <laughs> that is fresh. Oh, 
That sounds great. All good. Oh, you just click on Mr. Thump Thump, and then you can hear how that beat sounds with the instruments you've picked. Oh, that is a salsa beat. Was totally tuneful. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> make this beat kind of rock and roll. <laughs> oh, Western beat. Oh, that is my favorite. Yep. Did you learn polka beat? Woo! <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, let's join our friends, because <laughs> I miss them, you know. Yeah. Mr. Thumb Thumbs sure keeps the beat. Guess what? Guess what? Everybody else is ready to groove with you, too. This tune will make your body shake. Lay it here, baby. Oh, you aren't going to regret this. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. Yep, it's true. You can't turn around without stumbling over the number seven in some configuration or another. Click on any one of these shots and you'll see what I mean. Oh, you try and get seven pigeons to sit still for a picture? <laughs> Just no way that's going to happen. I was lucky to get portions of seven pigeons for this one. Can you count them all? One, two, three. Nope, not there, pumpkin. Well, we got zip going here, doll. Four, five, six, seven. Say, you count just like a professional. Nice work, Jim Chop. Click on any of these pictures, and you'll get the total effect of my camera work. Okay. Toodles, Lucky Seven. Velma has a way with those sevens, man. I got an idea. Let's have some more fun. Hey, champ. My garden needs your eye. Pick me. Let's check it out. Hey, sport. How about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? Holy moly, there's a real mix and match challenge here at What's Next Park. Want to help me finish the job? Hit that old go button. Let's see. This little old flower completes the pattern for one of the rows of our garden. Do you know which one? Just drag it over to the right empty pot to plant it. Mowgli, you match like a pro. Hey, that was fun. Want to play again? Hit the go button, champ. But if you'd like to make things a bit harder, click on that kid down there first. Hold on tight. There's a hard round a coming. Ladies and gentlemen, beat the clock is on. 
The clock is running. Let's pass those petunias. Need a hint? Just click on me. That's piecing things together, sport. Nice job. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Nothing like communing with nature. Thanks for your help, Scout. Hey, let's go find the others. Chester's Garden. I've seen it all. How about you? Want to see it all? Pick somebody. This tune will make your body shake. Lay it here, baby. Yeah, that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> See, the key to my dance is to do it in order. One step right after another. Like this. If you want to do the Zack, you got to start out real laid back. I push a clap your hands like this. And then you shake all over like a jellyfish. Hop like a little bunny cottontail. Spin around like a dog who's chasing his tail. It's silly and that's a fact when you do with a Zack. <laughs> Made that dance step up myself. Okay, now let's concentrate. What's next? Oh, hey, <laughs> want to make some beautiful music? Good. Come on, let's go. Perfect. The Jumbo Jungle, man. Let's see who's ready for a little action. I just love animals. You just take a listen. Hey, let's get going. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue's Pet Project. I call it Perlene's Pets to Go. People just drive up to my window and tell me what kind of pet they want and I give it to them. Boy, Perlene, this is totally fantastic. And wait till you see my pet of the month. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Hey, Starstruck, get back here! Watch the shop, will ya? Sure, Perlene. Starstruck! Starstruck! Wow, a whole pet shop. Wonder if I'll get any customers. Psst. Hey, kid. Give me one of those green pets with the two feet, and make it snappy. Why, certainly, sir. Which one would that be? Here you are, sir. Thanks, kid. You've made me a happy man. Attendant, I need your two biggest cats. Yeah! Yeah! On the double, ma'am. Which one should I pick? Order up! Okay, that's one, but she ordered two, so I need to choose another one. Order up! Yeah! Thank you so much! Yeah! Yeah! Bonjour, y'all. I need me two of them animal with four feet and no fur for my Zydeco Zoo Swamp fan. Sure thing. Hmm, which one should I pick? Here you go. Here's one. Now I need one more. Here you go. Merci. We're gonna make us some big swamp sounds tonight. Monkey Sue, Monkey Sue, my shop's on TV. What? Turn on Channel 9 quick. Perlene's Pets to Go has captured the heart of the entire nation. Here's what happy customers are saying. Yeah, you just drive up or to presto, you're out of there. Without Perlene's pets to go, my act would have been a flop. 
The whole washboard section come here from Perlines. We make some sweet sounds tonight. Oh, Monkey Sue, I'm a whopping success because of you. Come on, let's dance! The End Monkey Sue works mighty hard, don't you think? The rest of us can generate some horsepower, too. Select somebody. The animal kingdom is loaded with eights. Take a look. Oh, nice choice, sweetums. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. I took a bunch of photos here, and every last one of them has something important to do with the number eight. You want to find out what? Pick one. Oh, my, well, what do you know? Oh, my goodness. L oh, d I believe that is a snake. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> uh, you, uh, do you see any eights anywhere here? Very good. Yes, that's right. That snake forms an eight. <laughs> I got to admit, those things make me nervous. So how about you and I just get out of here, okay, Sugar Plum? Now. Click on any of these pictures, and you'll get the total effect of my camera work. Well, eight's great, but let's go find the others. Eight great snaps. Yes, sir. But Velma's not the only one with a surprise up her sleeve. Oh, we can make our own animals, you know. Yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> Let's boogie! <laughs> oh, uh, uh, well, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> here we are at the pet store. <laughs> we can make all kinds of crazy animals here. <laughs> Want to know how? All right, watch. First, we'll set the creature meter for um, two feet. Oh, two horns. <laughs> Sounds like a pig. Yeah, when you oh yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. and flies like a <laughs> a fly. <laughs> hey, <laughs> pretty nifty, huh? <laughs> and you can change the settings anytime you want. Now, just click on me for some animals to put through the machine. A turtle. <laughs> can you make her roar? Uh, no horns. Hey, hoo-hoo, <laughs> wanna put an animal through the machine? <laughs> okay, drag it to the purple area. <laughs> oh, hey, ho, ho, oh, that is really cool. Uh, it, whatever it is. Oh, hey, a dog. Can you make him hop like a kangaroo? <laughs> Five feet. Frog, <laughs> can you make him hop like a kangaroo? Oh, hey, we better get out of here before I end up with eight legs. <laughs> yeah, those creatures give me the shakes. Let's sort our way around to another part of the store. I just love animals. You just take a listen. Let's take a look-see. Hey, sport, how about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? Talk about living in a fishbowl. <laughs> Want to do old Chester a favor and play matchmaker? Just hit the go button.
See the little critter below me? Well, it's got a mate somewhere in the fishbowl that's exactly the same. You think you can spot it? Drag each fish to its match, and you're home free. You need a hint? Just click on me. Spiky fish. Torpedo fish. Jester fish. Lady fish. Stripey eel. Big mouth fish. Propeller fish. Now that's piecing things together, sport. Nice job. How about another round? Hit the go button. And okay, this one's gonna beat the clock is on. Okay, beat the clock is on. Let's go. Hunter fish. Big mouth fish. Stripey eel. One of these fish might fit the bill. Which do you think? Nose glasses fish. I see something swimming over here. Which one of these matches up? Clown fish. These look fishy. Do any of them match up? Tuxedo fish. Need a hint? Just click on me. One of these fish might fit the bill. Which do you think? These look fishy. Do any of them match up? Propeller fish. Yahoo! My, my, time did fly. You beat the clock. <laughs> Good job. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Done fishing for matches? Okay, let's hit the road, tiger. Match and fish, that's not easy. How about we see who else is in the swim? I just love animals. You just take a listen. Excellent timing. I was just about to sing a song. Pet shops are crazy places, man. That's why you gotta learn to sort. If you don't know how many or what kind of creatures you've got, well, then you don't have a zoo. You have a stew. Let me introduce my friends to you. Seven opossums and a kangaroo. Well, we got eight critters. Four are standers, four are sitters. Two are girls and six are fellas. Five are green and three are yellow. Only four can do cartwheels. But they're all marsupials. I could sing that song over and over, but you may want to investigate your other options. I just love animals. You just take a listen. Take out your wallet. We're at the Good Sense Grocery. Who's ready to pony up? My money's all mixed up. You got a moment, champ? Good choice. Let's go. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue in Shop Till You Drop. <laughs>
Oh, Monkey Sue, the only woman I've ever loved is coming to Infinity City with her famous flying team. Well, that's good, isn't it? Oh, when she lands, I'm supposed to have banana splits ready for her and her flyers, but... <laughs> I have no time to shop. I must stay here at the airfield, and so she will be disappointed. <laughs> Bernardo, I could shop for you. You could? Sure. Oh, Monkey Sue, I am overjoyed. Come in, Bernardo. Come in, Bernardo. This is Maxine, your love bucket. You're going to have those banana splits ready when we check down? That's a big ten force, Whitums. Hover and out. Okay, Monkey Sue, here's six dollars. You need to buy one dollar worth of chocolate sauce, two dollars worth of ice cream, and three dollars worth of bananas. Don't you worry, Bernardo. I'll be right back. Monkey Sue, you are an angel. At the market. Hi, Chuck. Monkey Sue. Welcome to our dollar market. Everything here costs one dollar. What can I get for you? Hmm. What should I buy first? Bananas, chocolate sauce, or ice cream? One bottle of chocolate sauce, Chuck. Mmm, chocolate sauce. One dollar, please. Maybe I should check my pad. One carton of ice cream, please. Here you go, Monkey Sue. That's one dollar's worth. One carton of ice cream, please. Okay, here you are, Monkey Sue. That's another dollar's worth. One bunch of bananas, please. Bananas. Here you are. That's one dollar's worth. One bunch of bananas, please. Bananas. Here you go. One bunch of bananas, please. Bananas. Here you go. Okay, let's see what I've bought. I bought one dollar's worth of chocolate sauce, two dollar's worth of ice cream, and three dollar's worth of bananas. Thanks a lot, Chuck. Sure, see you later. Back at the airfield. Ah, here's Monkey Sue now. Boy, I can't wait. Hello, everybody. Let's see what we've got. You did great. We have everything we need. Thanks. Oh, don't mention it. For you, my pet. Oh, Bernardo. It's the most gorgeous banana split I ever seen. Boy, I think she really likes you. Uh, thanks for your help, Monkey Sue. I couldn't have done it without you. Anything for true love. The end. Yes, sir, those banana splits looked good. Hungry for some more action? Right this way. My money's all mixed up. You got a moment, champ? Up, up and away! Oh, uh, uh, oh, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> here we are at Hank's food stand. <laughs> you know what he likes to do? Sell groceries. Yep, <laughs> and you get to buy them. <laughs> Click on my belly, and I'll give you some stuff to buy. Then hand it to Hank, and he'll tell you <laughs> what it costs. <laughs> you can pay him with the money from the piggy bank, and uh, then... Maybe he'll whip you up something nice and tasty to eat. <laughs> Cheese. Mmm. I wonder how much it costs. Let's see what this food costs. Drag it over to the register. Okay? Let's see. That's 30 cents per wedge. Oh, corn. Corn is 15 cents. That's a dime and a nickel. Oh, now that there is a T-bone steak. Woo-hoo! I bet you it is expensive. 
That'll be 50 cents a steak. Oh, <laughs> a quarter. <laughs> oh, that is 25. Now I've got 25 cents. I need 25 cents. Oh, <laughs> a quarter. <laughs> oh, that is 25 cents. Yep. A steak dinner. Chow down. Oh, oh, hey, that is tasty. Let's see. That's 30 cents per wedge. Oh, <laughs> a quarter. <laughs> oh, that is 25 cents. Now I've got 25 cents. I need 5 cents more. A nickel. Five whole cents. Now I've got 30 cents. Pizza for my little pepperoni. Oh, mmm, ah, mmm. Oh, that was tender, <laughs> yet colorful. Corn is 15 cents. That's a dime and a nickel. A nickel. Five whole... Now I've got five cents. I need ten cents more. Oh, that is a dime. <laughs> it's ten... Now I've got fifteen cents. Hey, partner. I'm gonna pop you some popcorn. That was a tasty morsel. Yep. Oh, now that there is a T-bone steak. Woohoo! I bet you. Hey, <laughs> pretty delicious. Oh, hey, bananas! Ooh, <laughs> Bananas? They're 25 cents. Oh, <laughs> a quarter. <laughs> oh, that is 25 cents. Now I've got 25 cents. One banana split coming right up. <laughs> that was a tasty morsel. Yep. Oh, dear. I'm stuffed. <laughs> hey, let's get going. You market like a pro, you know that? Let's see who else has a money game. My money's all mixed up. You got a moment, champ? Now hold on to your seat, Dumplin'. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. Mmm, don't they just make your mouth water? And every last one of them's related to the number nine. Pick a picture and I'll show ya. Now these are pumpkins, pumpkin. <laughs> oh, I got a feeling there's just nine of them, but you'd better count for me just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How about that? Just the number we've been yeah about. You want to get the full picture? Okay, just click on any of these. Well, that's enough nine work. Let's find the others now. So Velma's stuck on nines now. Bless her heart. Hey, I hear there's lots more to do around this place. My money's all mixed up. You got a moment, champ? We are off. Hey, sport. How about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? Ready to shop till you drop? Great! Hit that go button. See the money below me? Well, that's what you've got to spend at the market. Just drag the money over to the item with the matching price tag. A $1 bill. Beep. 
six pennies. That's five dimes. That's 50 cents. Three one dollar Three dimes. That's thirty cents. One ten dollar bill. That's ten dollars. One dime. Yahoo! Whoa, nice work. You're definitely my number one helper. <laughs> hey, hey, champ. Wanna heat things up? Click this round's good. Hustle up, sport. Beat the clock is on. Let the produce fly! That clock is on! You beat the clock! Now that's what I call a big win! Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Done shopping? No problem. Let's catch up with the others. What would Chester do without you, huh? How about we poke around some more? I've got money smarts. Just listen to this. Now we're really going to groove. When I go to the store, there's always something more. I see things I want to buy. Don't mean to sound funny, but I got to know my money. How many pennies does it take to get by? Five pennies in a nickel, ten pennies in a dime, twenty-five in a quarter. That's the money rhyme. If you get a hundred pennies, then give me a holler. Because you know what? You got yourself a dollar. Hey, it makes sense to me. Get it? Makes sense to me? <laughs> I'm a riot. Back to business. What's next? Hey, <laughs> I got some money. We can buy stuff. Come on. All right. Counter Stadium, the place for counting games, man. So let's get to it. I got a counting situation here, champ. Help me out. We're off. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue and the Infinity Counters. Yo, wouldn't you know it? Somebody parked in my spot. Coach, are you okay? Oh, oh, I'm fine, Carla. <laughs> Only my glasses broke. I'm not Carla, Coach. I'm Monkey Sue. Monkey Sue? Ooh, this is worse than I thought. Well, by Jiminy, <laughs> I see one, two, three, four, oh, five of you. Ew, I better go get these fixed. But, Coach, we're supposed to be out on the field in just a few minutes. Oh, that's right. Oh, dear. Uh, Monkey Sue, I I'm going to need your help. Here's the game plan. You need to make sure each of these lockers has one hat, one pair of shoes, and one glove in it. One hat, one pair of shoes, and one glove in each locker. That's right. The equipment will be here any minute. I'll get back as soon as I can. Oh, now, where did I put my keys? Okay, let's see. One hat, 
one pair of shoes, and one glove. Hmm. Monkey Sue. Hi, Letitia. Where's Coach? His glasses broke. He went to get them fixed. Again? Oh, brother. Can you help me get the team ready? Sure. I've got the caps right here. Just choose one of these piles. But be sure to pick the pile with the right number of caps. Okay. Hmm. Which pile has just the right... Here you go, Monkey Sue. I'll be right back with the shoes. One for you, and... Uh-oh. There aren't enough. Rats. Here are the shoes, Monkey Sue. Great. Remember to pick the stack that has just the right number of pairs of shoes. Just the right number of pairs. Hmm. Which stack should I pick? And now, we return to the rest of the Gigglebone Gang. Did Letitia catch that ball? I hope so. Listen, everybody's dying to play some more. This tune will tickle your eardrums. Click on me. We're off. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue and the Infinity Counters. Can you help me get the team ready? Sure. I've got the caps right here. Just choose one of these pop. Here you go, Monkey Sue. I'll be right back with the shoes. One for you, and one for you, and one for you. Okay, what's next? Here are the shoes, Monkey Sue. Great. Remember to pick the stack that has just the right number of pairs of shoes. Just the right number of pairs. Hmm. Which stack should I pick? Your shoes. Thanks, Letitia. We're almost done. I'll be back with the glove cart in just a minute. A pair for you, and a pair for you, and... Oh, no. Two players don't have shoes. Wow. And now, we return to the rest of the Gigglebone Gang. Hey, Jack. Welcome. We're off. Furry Tail Theater presents Monkey Sue and the Infinity Counters. Can you help me get the team ready? Sure. I've got the cap. Here you go, Monkey Sue. I'll be right back with the shoes. One for you, and one for you, and one for you. Okay, what's next? Here are the shoes, Monkey Sue. Great. Remember to your shoes. Thanks, Letitia. We're almost done. I'll be back with the glove cart in just a minute. A pair for you, and a pair for you, and a pair for you, and a pair for you. Four pairs of shoes. Perfect. Wow, Letitia, you're really quick. Thanks. Here are your gloves. We're done with the equipment. Thank you very much. I better see if the coach is back yet. One for you, and one for you. That makes two. Monkey Sue, it's you. Is everything ready? I think so. Oh, good. Then let's go play ball. And it's down to the wire for the infinity counters. One more out and they will have beaten Rotten Wrench and the Stinkazoids for the first time in city history. I've got it. I've got it. Out. And the Infinity Counters have beaten the Stinkazoids. Did you see that catch? I saw that catch. Oh, beautiful. Thanks for counting up all the equipment just right, Monkey Sue. You're welcome. And you know what? It was fun. Akiyaku rotten luck. The end. Hey, Jack. Welcome back. What's next? This tune will tickle your eardrums. Click on me. You are in luck. Oh, now we have to sit tight for a moment while they get those pictures ready for us. Oh, I'm telling you, I am one hot shot. Every picture in this batch is a kissing cousin to the number 10. You go ahead and click on one, and I'll show you what I mean. That's my bowling ball right there. I know it's hard to believe I could bowl a strike and grab a photo at the same time, but I tell you, I amaze myself. Now, I bet you we're looking at ten bowling pins. Let's count them up and see. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Absolutely right. You're batting a thousand. Oh, there's a lot more to do with these pictures than what you see now. Click on any one of them and you'll see what I mean. Oh, I am with you. Those ten counts, they're tiring. Let's see where Zack and the others got off to. That Velma shoots some pretty pictures. Hey, how about we see who else is itching to go? Hey, <laughs> y'all want to play some sports? Yeah, come on. Whoa, hey, let's go! Oh, uh, uh, we just have to sit and wait a sec while they get all this stuff ready for us. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to play Plenty? <laughs> it's my special game, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's really, really a lot of fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> Click on my belly a few times, and I'll give you some athletes. Then every time you pick a player, they earn points. When one player scored twenty points, that's plenty, and they win. Tanya loves tennis, and uh, <laughs> a vice versa. Yeah, <laughs> that means tennis loves Tanya. Yeah. Oh, Walter, he is a weightlifter. <laughs> you think he can lift a player? Oh, 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 hey, this is Beth. She plays baseball. Whoa, Frank plays football. Paul sells peanuts. Who do you think likes to eat them? Uh-huh, mm-hmm. This is Sarah. <laughs> she swims like a fish. Oh, I am tuckered out too. <laughs> Let's find the others. Come on. Hey, old Bungie, the scorekeeper's back. What would you like to do next? I got a counting situation here, champ. Help me out. You're a real pal. Hey, sport. How about you wait with old Chester while they get stuff ready for us? Whoa, looks like somebody forgot to put the balls away. How about you help old Chester straighten this place up? Just hit that go button, champ. Okay, here's what you do. First, count the number of balls in the window below me. Got a number? Good. Now, you just drag them over to the bin that's labeled with the same number. Click on me if you need a little hint. Four balls. Seven balls. Eight balls. Five balls. Two balls. One ball. <laughs> I am impressed. Way to go, pro. Come on, let's play again. Just hit the go button. And if you want a challenge, click on that kid down there. But watch out. Better glove up. This round could get... Beat the clock is up and running. Oh boy, the clock is on. Let's get bin happy. I'd check one of these bins. Do you see the matching number? Four balls. Balls. Nine 
and balls. Ten balls. Five balls. Whoops, time ran out. Oh, don't worry, sport. I got a hunch you'll do better next time. Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Hope you're primed and ready, because the clock is on. Need a hint? Just click on me. Eight balls. Seven balls. Four balls. Ten balls. Nine balls. Five balls. <laughs> Did I just see what I think I saw? Did you get them all? Fantastic! Ready to play again? Hit the go button. Ready to stop? Okay. Let's go back up to the stadium and find the others. Whew. You count those balls like a pro. Come on. Let's try something else. This tune will tickle your eardrums. Click on me. Okay, let's jingle some keys. Ooh I'm a counting fool. You know where you can really do some good counting? At the ball game. Well, one day there were two teams with three boys named Joe and four girls named Josephine. They played five games. It took them six hours and all seven fell asleep when they were done. Now eight moms and dads came to watch the game. They ate nine pretzels each and you could hear them all exclaim, I must have gained ten pounds. <laughs> well, I had lots of fun just the same. What a voice I got, huh? So what sounds good now? This tune will tickle your eardrums. Click on me. Need to jet out of Infinity City? No problem. Just hit that red quit sign again. But if you want to play some more, just give a clickaroo somewhere else. Adios, Giggle Bone Gang. <laughs>